So, you're a creator who's tired of paying for Adobe software or pirating it. Well, I have a solution for you and it's totally free. DaVinci Resolve. It's like the Swiss army knife of production software. You can edit video, grade your footage, make motion graphics, even record your voiceovers and clean and edit your sound. Don't worry, there'll be a link below in the description to this page. All you gotta do is click download over here and then go to DaVinci Resolve Beta 16 and pick which operating system you're using. I'm currently using Windows, so I'll click Windows. If for whatever reason, after installing this, it isn't working for you or it's crashing too much, you can roll back and install DaVinci Resolve 15, which will have all the same tools so you don't have to worry. I just prefer 16, it's working really well for me. It does crash from time to time, but it hasn't been anything detrimental or too time consuming. So I'm just gonna click on Windows and you'll be introduced to a window like this. All you gotta do is fill in this form and then click register and download. So once downloaded, all you gotta do is extract the zip file. It'll take a few moments. Once extracted, all you gotta do is install the program. Pretty much all your default settings should be exactly what you need. All right, so once it's installed, all you gotta do is launch Resolve. All right, and you should be greeted with a screen that looks something like this. On the screen, you'll have a project called Untitled Project. This is basically where your default settings are stored. So if you look down here at the bottom, you've got New Project, New Folder, and Open. So what you can do is, just as an example, you can create a folder and call it Test. And you can go into this folder and you can create a new project inside of this folder or any other folder that you make. But just for demonstration purposes, we're going to go into this folder and create a new project. And we will call it Test. And click Create. When DaVinci Resolve launches, you'll come to a screen that looks something like this. And this can be a little bit intimidating, especially if you've never done any editing before. And also you might not know how to add footage or actually do the editing. So the place where we're gonna to wanna to start is over here at the bottom and going to this very first tab, which is the media tab. We'll then over here at the top, you can right click and click add new location. This is to add a location wherever you keep your footage or your projects. And then just say select folder once you've got a place where you like to keep all your footage. For me, I've already done that. I've got an assets folder which I've got both my stock footage and my music. We'll take a look at the stock footage first. And I've got inside here the Blender Cloud stock footage, which I'll then just take one of these clips, I think I'll take from Big Buck Bunny and drag it down here. You might get a message asking you to change the settings, just click yes, it'll match the footage that you're dragging on. We can then go back to our edit tab over here and we'll see we've got the footage that we need over here at the top. So what you want to do is just drag it over and drop it on the timeline. You can then just move this down like that. And now we can see what's going on. And when we drag, the audio will play, which is a little obnoxious. We can turn it down over here if it's too loud. For example, I thought that was too loud. So yeah, as much as you can scrub through here, you've got the entire movie all on your timeline. A better way to do it is to double click on the footage over here and it will show up over here. So what we can do is we can just scrub through it, find a part that we want. So for example, I want this part where it's coming out the hole. We'll press I on our keyboard, which stands for in. It's the in point of the, the clip. And then we'll scrub forward till he's out. And then press the O on our keyboard, which is for out. So we've got the in and the out points and what you're going to want to do is grab this clip and drop it on our timeline. As you can see, it's much smaller and it's showing just that part of the clip. But we're very, very far zoomed out. Also, we can take this and drag it to the middle there. But as you can see, we're really zoomed out. So in order to fix that, we press Alt on our keyboard and use our mouse wheel to zoom in. We can also go over here and drag this icon. So now we can more easily navigate this clip. So let's go over to our clip over here, double click on it as we did before. 
scrub forward, find another clip that we want. I like this one with the butterfly, so we're just gonna go there and press I, scrub forward, press O, drag it onto our timeline, and there we have it. We can also go here in between the two pieces of footage, and as you can see, the icon will change. This will move between the two, taking one away from the other. If you put it just after on either side, you'll be grabbing just one of the pieces of footage and trimming it. You can then press spacebar on your keyboard and it'll play through the clip. So you can see how the cut feels. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to know how to do is how to cut your clips. So we'll do one more thing. We'll just go back to the media folder, add in another clip from another movie. I love Cosmos Laundromat, so I'm just gonna add it over there. I'm gonna go back to the edit uh, timeline. Double click on Cosmos Laundromat over here and scrub forward till we get to a part that's really nice. I always love this colorful tornado. Uh, as we did before, I and then O. We'll just grab that bit and clip it over here. Oh, so we want to catch it just before there. We can use our arrow keys on the keyboard to go through frame by frame, forwards and backwards. And then we can press B on our keyboard or click on the icon over here to get the blade tool. And we just cut. We can then press A on our keyboard to go back to the arrow select tool. And we'll select the clip just after it and then press backspace on our keyboard. So that's just the basics of importing your footage and editing. The next thing I'm gonna show you, so the next thing that I'm gonna show you is how to grade your footage to give it a bit of a different look, especially if you're filming something and you wanna give it a bit of a mood. So what you wanna do is go over to this tab over here, color. So now if you select one of your clips, you'll see it in the screen over here. And then what you can do is adjust this curve to increase and decrease the contrast of a clip. We'll just press Ctrl Z to do that. You can also go over here. If it's not showing, just press this little icon and look through these different presets. They're called LUTs. So if we select film look, we can then go through this bit by bit and see what it looks like. So each one of these has a different sort of look to it. Now, if you don't like any of those, you can just go here and delete it and say, for example, we wanted this clip to be a little bit more cool and blue. We can use these settings over here to change the color temperature to get the kind of look that we're looking for. So it's kind of something that you can play around with a little bit more. I'm not going to teach you any theory behind grading. This is just to encourage you to play around in the software. I'll do videos on grading at a later stage. All right, so once you're happy with your edits and your grade and everything, you can then move on to exporting and uploading to YouTube. So what you want to do is go to this very end tab over here, the deliver tab. You'll be greasy with a screen that looks something like this. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do if you're just uploading stuff to YouTube, I would probably change this file format over to MP4. You can make it a very high quality MP4. Ideally, you would wanna go with QuickTime, but it is a very large file type. So we'll just stick with MP4. You can then scroll down uh, and click automatic and best should be good enough, but I would increase this amount over here to something a little bit higher. So, so let's make it 25,000 instead of just 10,000. Uh, you can make your life a little bit easier and just go over here to where it says YouTube and it'll give you pretty much the best settings you need for YouTube and you can set it to upload directly to YouTube and you can include the description, upload it as private, public, unlisted. I prefer to upload it as private just so I can go onto YouTube and change the settings after the fact. Um, and you can pick the category. If it didn't already prompt you to give some kind of uh, login settings for YouTube. What you do is you go to the top here where it says DaVinci Resolve, click it, go down to your preferences, and then go to internet accounts over here, and then click sign in. So you can just type in your settings and log yourself in. 
So now what you're going to want to do is just go over here to change the name of the file. We'll call it test, test. Everything else should be more or less fine. And then what you're going to want to do is just click add to render queue, which will add it to the render queue. And then click start render. And what you're going to notice is when it's done rendering, it's going to automatically start uploading. And this is pretty much all you need to know in order to get started with rendering with DaVinci Resolve for YouTube. If there's any confusion or you get stuck with anything, you can leave a comment below, but I would suggest joining my Discord channel, which there will be a link in the description below. It's just gonna be a lot easier to help you out there because I'm able to send screenshots, you're able to send screenshots, and we can interact with each other a little bit easier. And on your way down there, don't forget to click that subscribe button and maybe leave a like. Also, not to mention you can join my Patreon or send me any kind of donation. It's always appreciated. So thank you for watching and catch you next time. Cheers. People want to talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade of Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you trying to eat our producing and rapping. I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself. I'm just laughing. Hey, you trying to cut out a piece of my pie. And I asked you politely, what's it that you offer me? Yeah, I produce all my own beats and I have no intention of losing my publisher. Yeah, independent individual boy. I've been eating our passive residuals. Yeah, let's be professional. Thanks for your time. But I had to decline at a principle. <laughs>